Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope that you're having a wonderful poop. And if you're sitting next to your wife while you're watching this, hopefully this is a poorly timed. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys all had a wonderful fourth. I myself was traveling with my family and I didn't have time, obviously, to make a full-blown gun review video or any new builds this week since I was traveling and gone. So I asked Twitter what they wanted to see. Overwhelmingly, they wanted a tutorial on how I splatter paint rattle canned the gun in my previous video, which I will link right here. I went with rattle cans because it's way cheaper than buying even small amounts of real paint and you can get the same effect and people were just wondering how to do it. So in this video, it's gonna be pretty quick. I'm just gonna show you how I rattle can this gun and how you can do it too if you want. All right, let's do it. So here we have our gun. I didn't wanna repaint my gun in the same paint job. So I simply did that. <laughs> All right, so there's several ways that you can get a splatter effect with a rattle can. One method is put a thin piece of paper over the nozzle, that will create a splatter effect. And Montana, I think is the company, I'm, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they actually make a splatter effect nozzle that actually goes on your can. So you can do that as well. But this is the cheapest way to do it, the easiest way to do it. You literally don't need to even tape paper over it to, to get the same effect. So first step when you're rattle can any rifle is to at least wipe some of the oil off of the surfaces that you're gonna be painting. That will just help the paint stick better. Do you have to do it? Mm -mm. Not really, but it's always good practice to at least wipe the oils off the surfaces that you're going to be painting as best as you quickly can. And for this paint job, I chose yellow, orange, green, and a matte black for a base coat. These are just Rust-Oleum fluorescent colors, nothing fancy. They were like, I think four or five bucks a piece at the hardware store. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna put down a nice base coat on your gun of whatever color you want as the base color. I chose to do black because that's the look I was going for. You could do you know, any color that you want. You could do pink, you could do white, whatever color that you want as a base coat. Go ahead and give your gun a nice solid base coat. So I'm gonna do that really quick. It's important to mention too that the beauty about rattle canning is that if you mess up, you can literally just rattle can over any mess up. So gob it on there, gob on your base coat. It's important to have a solid base coat because basically that's going to allow all the other paint to actually stick to your rifle and stay there better than it would if you were just splattering on the metal. So go ahead and spray on your base coat, let that sit for 15 or 20 minutes, let it dry, and then we'll move on to the next part of painting your rifle. 2,000 years later. Okay, so once your base coat has dried, this is where you start to splatter paint, and this is the method that I used. Basically, all you're gonna do, shake up your can a little bit, pop the lid off, spray some paint into the cap that came with your rattle can, and then you're just going to fling it as aggressively as possible onto your rifle or your canvas or whatever you're painting. So spray a little bit, uh, fling it. Spray a little bit, fling it. Spray a little bit, fling it. And repeat over and over and over again. And you can aim it, try to hit specific spots as well as you can. And something else that I found out is if you want smaller specs, stand further back and swing harder. You'll get like a small, really dispersed splatter. And if you want bigger splatters, go slower and a little bit closer and you'll get much bigger splatters. I don't know how well you can actually see that on the camera, but every once in a while, spray a little bit more and you'll be able to tell when you're running out. And once you have kind of the desired look that you want for that color, then you can move on to the next color. Rinse that and repeat. And after about five minutes, you'll have a really cool looking splatter painted rifle. Let that sit for as long as it needs to dry. Flip it over, do the other side, and you're good to go. So I will do a time lapse now, and then I will show you what it looks like when it is finished. So when you are done spraying in the cap and splattering onto your rifle, then you're done. 
let it dry and it will look something like this. But anyways, guys, that's how I did this easy rattle can splatter paint for like 12 bucks on my rifle. And that's how you can do it too if you want. Once again, I know I've said this before, if you do decide to splatter paint your rifle, tag me in it on Twitter, tag me in it on Instagram, at Ballaclobberboy69. I wanna see what you guys are creating. I love to see what people make and see what people come up with because that's part of the fun of customizing your weapons, customizing your rifles and building your own. So that's it for this week, guys. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. That stuff is extremely important to us people who are making content around guns <laughs> because YouTube, frankly, just doesn't like us very much. So any help that we can get, it's truly appreciated. And we've seen some crazy growth, way more than I even expected when I started this thing a month and a half ago. So thank you guys so much. We're gonna keep chugging, we're gonna keep going. We've got some Mac builds in the works for you guys, working on a Harlot, a Harlot Longboy that I've actually had done for a while. So lots of fun little projects coming up. If you want to keep up to date on those, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I post updates there basically every day. And I will see you in next week's video.